So the last time you saw us, Hood and his family was in West Texas. On this episode, it's all about the family and friends in the outdoors, on a squirrel hunt, and then a quail hunt later on. So after hunting season one out, I got together with some friends of mine and some family members and decided to go down to Salipta and do some squirrel hunting. And let me just tell you, squirrel hunting is a way to just have fun in the outdoors and especially get kids involved. Matter of fact, that's where a lot of people first learn how to hunt is on, with dogs on a squirrel hunt. You know, and, and sometimes you get in trees that's multiple squirrels and, and you don't know which way to go with the camera, which way to go with the gun. I mean, they're just flying everywhere. Hey, give me some right there, son. <laughs> what I'm doing, man. Oh, he almost caught him. He got right. There he is. Get him right. Hey, somebody get the squirrel. <laughs> He's going up the tree, he's going up the tree. This one time, we shot the squirrel out of the tree and he come down the tree and him and the dog got after him. Let me just tell you, that is a sight you will never forget and just laugh about for years to come is that dog chasing that squirrel around. Somebody shoot that squirrel. There you go. Uh oh, get him, man, get him. Got him. Then there's that, you're that one guy with the 22. Everybody around the trees got shotguns and you got a 22. But that's when the moment happens when you're walking up to the tree and from about 80 yards out you can pop him. And nobody knows what happened. Get him right, get him, good boy. And that's why squirrel hunting is a great way to spend time with family and friends in the outdoors and teach kids what they can't learn at school, what they can't learn at home on a video game. So, when we decided to do the squirrel hunt with, you know, family and friends, enjoy the outdoors, guess who ditched me? Chase. So why weren't you there squirrel hunting? I can't remember. Why wasn't there? What did Matthew say? Oh, you know she said something. I, I want to know what you, I don't know what I was doing, I can't remember. You notice on none of those videos, Chase is involved in it. You want to talk about being a loner? You want to talk about being a ditch? I mean, come on, Chase, what are, where are you at? And now you can have Chase, well, I was in Birmingham with my family, you know, I, I had to spend time with my family, I've been with you for hunt season, you know, now you can add that in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna go along with it. I'm, I'm sorry, Matthew, I ditched you. I mean, you can say what I want. So I didn't get a chance to make it on the squirrel hunt. We're just gonna leave it at that. So now it's on to the quail hunt. And this is a hunt we do every year. You might as well say it's round two for Southern Vines at Davis Quail Hunts. You know, it's a great time. It's a great family and fellowship experience, just like the squirrel hunt was. And like I said, it's just a blast. We enjoy it every year. We go up there and ride around with Mr. Davis on his place, just shooting quail, having a great time, making a competition out of it. Just having a blast. Golly. You know, one of the reasons I like coming up here is just to watch him work the dogs. I mean, that, that's awesome to me. How you can get so bonded with an animal that you know what he's doing and he knows what you're doing. And you're expecting the same thing and you, you get the same result 99% of the time. Fooling with an animal, that's just awesome to me. You know, he has the pointer that points. Y'all get ready, come on the side of that tree. And he has his little flush dog that never gets tired all day long. But his flush dog is running around. And it's just awesome to watch and experience. You know, Mr. Davis is a one-of-a-kind man. I mean, as old as he is, he still gets some of that horse every day, goes out there hunting, runs those dogs, and just has a blast doing it. I mean, he is, he is definitely somebody that I admire. You know, just like any kind of hunting, you have your ups and you have your downs. 
But at the very last minute, when you think it's getting slow, I mean, that's when you flush up that big quad and everybody gets a shoot and nobody hits. Nobody hits. All right, y'all. Shoot. But it's still, I mean, that's what you go for is the low and all of a sudden the high because you might point one bird or two birds, but then you point 30 birds to it and it's just unreal. So there's a lot of factors in quail hunting that makes it enjoyable. For one, you get to I mean, fellowship and stuff with your friends and family or whatever, but for two, a quail is not the easiest thing to shoot, so it's definitely challenging. And then you have good dogs working them. It, the, the whole trip just makes for a blast. I mean, it, it's very hard to, to not enjoy this hunt. At the end of the day, this is the episode that it's all about. I mean, this episode was all about having fun in the outdoors with family and friends. That's what that's what hunting's about. You know, a lot of people forget that's what hunting's about is just having a great time in the outdoors with family and friends. We hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Quail and Squirrel Hunting. Next time, we're going to take y'all to an episode we like to call Memory Lane. Grab here. I'm scared. He's gonna pop up. I'm gonna like a big deer. That's right. F five.